So we've spoken about how images are made up of pixels and how pixels are essentially little containers that hold values. Values that are defined by numbers. But how do two images get composited together? Well, surprise, surprise, it's just math also, basic arithmetic. And there's really not much to it. But it's very important to understand the nuances of how it works. That's why what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to unroll the over operation so that we can see how the internal guts of like a basic merge composite operation works. So I have two images, a background image, really exciting checkerboard here, and a foreground image, which is just a red solid. In order to composite two images together requires a mat and a mat is an image also, except instead of defining color, it defines transparency. One defines completely opaque parts of the image, and zero will define the completely transparent parts. And the reason for this is because mathematically, that works out perfectly. Anything multiplied by one remains the same value, and anything multiplied by zero gets crushed to zero. So let's look at that. And in action here. Multiply. So what I've done is I've used my mat image as sort of a cookie cutter to cut out this round cookie. So if you were to talk about this in terms of what this foreground image was before being multiplied by the mat and what it was after being multiplied by the mat, this image would be called a raw image or an unpremultiplied image. And this image after being multiplied would be called a pre-multiplied image. And by that, I mean it's been multiplied by its mat. The mat is now built in. And we'll see how that's relevant in a moment. But let's continue kind of building up this over operation. Okay, so I've got my foreground cut out. And I've got my background. Let's try putting them together. Mm, basic operation. We'll just add the two together. The operation for that in Nuke is called plus. Well, I have a cookie, but it still seems to be like a ghost image over the background. I guess I need to prepare the background using this mat also. And no surprise, it's the same operation. It's a multiply. But if I do that, I've essentially cut out the background into a cookie also. I need to invert the mat and punch a hole. So I've taken the background, punched a hole in it, sort of the inverse of the cookie cutter, taken the foreground, and cut it out by the mat, and then essentially just use the plus to drop that right into the same hole, add the two together. Because the two have been cut out by exactly the opposite mats when they add together, this edge is perfectly is a perfectly seamless composite and that is an over operation these all these things together in nuke the merge node which is the uber composite node merge operation node has several different operations that you can do merges in or with and they're all essentially variations on this theme and there's a shorthand for it for it you can see it if you hover your mouse over the operation pull down of the merge node it says the name of the operation and then it has a little bit of an algebraic formula after it let's look at the very let's look at the one called over which is the one we just did if you go down the list a little bit you can see over it says a plus b times the inverted mat so the big a is the color part of the image and the small a or the small b is the alpha channel of that related image the a input or the b input so there's a little shorthand cheat sheet right in the merge node for all of the different merge operations that tell you how they work and as you can see most of them are 
are essentially variations of this theme. Some of them have slightly more clever stuff in them, like like conjoined over or disjointed over, have a little bit of logic in them. But uh, on the whole, it's essentially just multiplies and adds. And of course, you can always just experiment with them visually. The thing is, if you don't take into consideration the state of the mat coming into them, you'll sometimes get unexpected results. And that's why I wanted to show you this notion of pre-multiplication sort of rolled out longhand. Let's, uh, let's uh, take, make some examples of where we intentionally break our over operation. What I'm going to do here is manipulate just the RGB channels of my foreground image. So I'm going to use a really blunt operation called a road and only modify the RGB channels. I'm going to grow my foreground cookie a little bit. You can see how if I if I change the RGB component without changing the alpha channel, you can see how the alpha channel and the RGB don't match anymore. So hence, I'm trying to use the same mat for both this and this. I've punched a hole in the background that now does not match my foreground. The mats don't fit between the two. So this is the kind of problem that can bite you in many situations. When you, when you, once you've pre-multiplied an image, once you've cut it out by its mat like this, which is a very common way to get images from 3D renders, the mat and the RGB component of the image have essentially been married together. They're one image. They have a mathematical relationship that in order to modify one or the other, you must separate them again before doing that. And that's called unpremultiplication. So if you've already pre-multiplied an image or you only, you only have access to the image in this pre-multiplied state, you can essentially divide it by its mat, which will divorce it from the mat long enough to do an operation. Let's say I did that same blunt erode and modified the RGB component only. You'll see I haven't touched the alpha. But then, re-premultiply it, premult. It will cut it back out again to the same alpha channel that it was, even though it grew. And then hence, my composite will work. So oftentimes, when you spot black edges or problems in the very edge here of a composite, it's because there's a problem with the pre-multiplication of the image. The RGB values and the alpha don't match. And you can introduce that problem through all different kinds of operations, not anything necessarily as blunt as a dilate. It can even be an extreme color correction. If there's a gamma change along this edge between the RGB and the mat, you'll get a you'll get a artifact along this composite edge. So this understanding the pre-multiplication state of an image is very, very important. And as we get into more of the merge nodes and more practical examples, I'll call them out and point out the gotchas that can get you. But I, I wanted to introduce you to this notion early so that you're looking for it as we get into more advanced topics.